So in this video, I like to talk about vector manipulation. So in vector manipulation, meaning that you have vectors, you want to multiply them by each other, you want to make them square, and you want to do different analysis with uh, like a one-dimensional array. The vectors I have, I have v1 and v2. v1 is like uh, four, four numbers in a row, and v2 is four numbers in a row. The stuff that I'm looking for in the first part, I want to find the square of V1. So from a square of V1, I mean to make every element of it a square. Or in other words, if I go show you to you in Excel, meaning that if V1 is look like this, 2, 4, 16, 20, 256, I want to make every element of it to the power of 2. So what I'm going to say, I'm going to say V1 square. The first one will be 4, the next one will be 16. Again, in Excel, you see I use the power of 2. I'm looking for to create this vector specifically as an output. So what I did here, I said v1 underscore 2. Again, that's 1 to the power of 2. That's the name of the variable. It can be anything, right? You can put here cookie. It doesn't matter what you put. And then if you save it and run it, it's going to give you cookie. So this is just a name of a variable, can be anything. Um, when I say to the power of 2, if I don't put this dot here, the computer will be confused, because if it want to multiply the vector by itself, uh, it has, again, when we talk about multiplying of matrices, this cannot be multiplied by itself. So I'm going to put a dot here, meaning that for every element. When you put a dot, it means for every element. In the next part, I want to say v1 times v2. So I call this one the product of v1 and v2 is equal to v1 dot v2. So this dot here is very important to do. So if I save and run, you would be able to see v1 to the power of 2 generate 416256, which is like it raised the element here to the power of 2. In the second one, v1 times v2 is actually multiplied 2 by 1, the answer is 2, the next one is 4 by 2, the second by the second, the answer is 8, 16 by 4, 64, and then the last one. In this part, if you want to add two vectors together, they have the same dimension, don't worry, simply say v1 plus v2. If you want to subtract them, do the same thing. If you want to divide every element by any other element, you have to have this dot. So when I say division, meaning that, okay, 2 divided by 1 is 2, 4 divided by 2 is 2, 16 divided by 4 is 4, and that's actually what is generated here. To find the minimum of uh, a vector, you can simply type in min, right? If I say, uh, if I say min of v1, it's going to give me the minimum of v1, right? If I go for it, the minimum of v1 is equal to 2. But if I want to know where the location of it is, I can just enter the function like this. So the first one is what's the minimum and where it's located. Uh, again, you need to go looking online when you're looking for minimum. Uh, again, I'm in MATLAB help. If I look for minimum, if I have something like this, x and y equal to minimum, it says that find the indices of the minimum values and return them in the array and tell me where they are. That's actually what's the use of that one. So you can do for maximum, if you want to do the sum, simply sum of the vector all the elements, it can add them. If you want to find the mean, simply use the function mean. Uh, 